A very common New Year's resolution is to do a better job managing our money. So it is appropriate that January is Financial Wellness Month. And here to get us started on the right foot is Esther Halt from Star Financial Solutions. And this is a great time to kind of take stock of everything financially in our lives. What questions should we be asking ourselves as we start a new year? First of all, Happy New Year hey, happy to new everybody. Year. Um, there's a lot of questions the first of the year. We get everything together and what I like to do and tell people is that first of all our beneficiaries. Looking back on last year, has anything changed in our lives, in our families' lives? Have, have we made our families bigger? Has unfortunately somebody passed? Do we need to change beneficiaries? And that would be IRAs, 401ks, um, any insurance products, annuities, mm. All of that, we need to look and reevaluate who our beneficiaries are. Do we need to add some or change some? Okay. All right. It's good information. No, it's yeah. something you don't want to yeah. make a mistake about mm -hmm. because then, should something happen, then right. you have things wrong. Right. I'd like wrong. to go back and yeah. do it over. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I, I, I like right. to think I don't want my ex husband to benefit if something yeah. happens to me. I was going to say it. Yeah. Absolutely. Just saying that would be the one I'm thinking about. Uh, let's go to the positive, though. What about if you maybe got a big bonus or something? What are, how do you look at what to decide with? with your money. You need to look at your financial plan. If you have a big bonus, then that may change how you use your money. You may want to pay off some extra bills. You may want to invest a little bit extra. You may want to put some more aside for your insurance. And, and you should definitely get together with your financial advisor. See if your financial plan needs to change with that. Um, if you've had a windfall, mm -hmm. um, an inheritance, you win the lottery, or some other windfall, an insurance claim, you should definitely look at your financial plan, see if that has to be reevaluated or changed to reflect that. Um, and if you don't have a financial plan, now's a good time to start one. Oh, you need one. Yeah, so you should a lot of people one. probably are in a pretty good mood, especially if they were in the stock market because 2017 was a very yeah. good year. So why do we need to reevaluate now? Shouldn't we just keep on rolling? Ah, this is what I call sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. <laughs> <laughs> Dire Straits said that a long time ago. But what happens is, so the stock market was really good last year. And a lot of the companies that did really well are a lot of the more aggressive companies. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, hopefully in the beginning of the year, when you first talk to your advisor, you set up your investments to show a certain amount of risk, a certain amount of investments in different sectors. Now that may be a little bit skewed. Okay. If the kinds of investments that did really well are the more aggressive investments, then you may be taking on more risk in your portfolio. And of course, past performance is not indicative of future results. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that the market's going to continue to go up. Um, Can it please? Because <laughs> we'd really like it to. So, yeah. so is Long the term probably and you never know if a, a, a correction is coming. It's normal oh, to yeah. have corrections every single year and you want you need to be ready for that. So, so is the idea to adjust like so if you're really risky right now and you're worried about what could happen maybe adjust those risks? Right. You might want to pull back a little bit, um, reevaluate what you have. Mm. But and you can make a lot of mistakes without help because the tax thing is so confusing now that you can make a simple little thing and it can cost you big money if you don't be careful. And that's why you need a financial advisor and planner to work with you and, and a tax consultant. Yeah, and I think this year more than ever because it does seem like we have a lot of changes coming with the new year. More so. than ever and they should all work together for your best interest. Mm -hmm. All right, good advice. We're taking Taking stock of everything as we start a new year. For more information, you can contact Star Financial Solutions at their website. Thanks, Esther. Thank you. Not just money, we're going to get our bodies on track as well. We're going to get some tips about juicing from Karen at Crop Juice.